Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm here again to talk to you about the M2M MN02-LTE and its connection into a GE Interlogix networks panel. Uh, super easy, four connections here. This is only going to be wired for communications at this point. Um, so uh, what I've already done is I've already got the antenna screwed in place here as you can see. This comes disassembled, so I've already put it on. No, no big deal to get it on there. You just screw it just like that, get it on. And then you can put the antenna, which is located here, anywhere you'd like. I, you know, I'm just going to stick it outside the box here. You don't want to put it inside the box, so be careful with that. But uh, outside the box, anywhere is fine. Uh, what you're looking at right now on the networks panel is a view from the side. So this would be the top of the panel up here. And it would be going from top to bottom. So the bottom of the panel would be down here. And there's a door that opens from the top here down to the bottom. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you from the side view, so don't be thrown off if it doesn't look like this when you're wiring it in. Uh, it'll be probably facing another direction. All right, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at the documentation. Uh, the documentation will show you how to wire it in. It'll give you all kinds of different you know, tips and tricks and things like that. Uh, definitely keep this. This is a very valuable piece of documentation. Uh, it'll have your username and password if you are going to ever use the R-Control app. You'll need that. All right, so what we're going to do is get straight into getting this wired for communications and power. So power first, we're going to take this red wire. This red wire is going to be getting wired into what's titled AUX plus. So AUX plus. Get that red wire screwed down in there. There may be other wires in there. If there are, just leave them in there and wire this in there along with it because it could be going to something that's needing the power. Okay. Now we're going to go, the black wire is going to go into the comm, which is literally right next to it. Uh, I believe if you're looking at this panel the correct way, it would be right above it. So it'll be comm. Then we're going to be wiring in for communications now that we have power wired in here. This is the power. So we have positive into aux plus and the ground or negative into comm. Now we're going to take the communications wires, which are going to be the green and yellow wire. By the way, you will have an orange and white wire kind of hanging there. I'd recommend throwing some electrical tape or just uh, you know cutting them back and getting them out of the way if you're not going to be using the R-Control app. Uh, just get them, get them out of the way. Throw some tape on them, cut them back, whatever you want to do. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get this wire for communications. So you want to take the green wire, which is this one here, and you want to take that and go to what's labeled R which is right down here on the end. So go to R, get that wired in, screwed down. Then we're gonna take the yellow wire and the yellow is gonna be going into T. So you just get that put in place, screwed down. Now, if there are any wires that are in the T, R, T1 or R1 slot, just make sure to go ahead and get those wires out of there. You don't want those in there along with this. All you're gonna need are these wires in for communication and uh, of course these power wires like i said may be sharing this spot with others so that's okay down here but in this specific spot these should be the only wires and t and r and t1 and r1 should no longer have wires in it as well um, at that point you are wired in for communications and you're ready to go on the ge interlogix networks panel um, at this point you're ready to give us a call so make sure you document your serial number which is located right here six digit number and uh, give us a call. At that moment, we can get you activated or uh, scheduled for an appointment to get activated. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. This has been how to wire the M2M MNO2-LTE into the GE Interlogix Networks panel. Take care. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.